Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Monica here. In today's video, we will learn about another new method of HTTP callout in Flow, which is patch method, which is basically used for partially updating an object and data. So we will learn how we can use that with a very simple example. But before that, let me show you an output of that example of what we are going to achieve in this video. So for today's example, we will learn this flow. In this flow, basically, I have used the post and put method to change the uh, object's name to Apple iPhone. Now we are using patch method to partially update the object. And for that, we have added a checkbox here to ask the user if they want to update a name to a new name. Okay, when the user checks on this, a new name text box occurs and whatever name the user is going to add in here it will be updated using the patch method and we will get a new name in the new screen okay so let's say the new name will be iPhone 15 Pro Max okay and when I will click on next the patch HTTP callout method will occur and the uh, object will be partially updated and the name will be partially updated to iPhone 15 Pro Max let's click on next and here you can see we have the updated name iPhone 15 Pro Max. So basically which patch method you can partially update an object if you want to just update the name of an object or if you want to just update the price of an object or anything else. You can do that using the patch method. Okay, now let's dive straight into our org and create our flow. Okay, so we have uh, done an example for put method before if you want to learn that or if you have skipped that video, I will add that in the description box below. Okay, let me just give you an overview of what is the difference between put and batch. So basically both of these methods are used for updating objects data, but the put method uh, is related to updating the complete object data like in the put method in the request we have to add all the attributes instead in patch method we need to add the parameter that we want to update the value of okay so for this example if you will see here you have all the attributes and parameters added in the request of put method but in the patch method if you will see we have only name because we want to just update the name of that uh, object okay so now uh, let's create our flow and let's see how it works uh, for this example I am using the previous flow in which I have already uh, used the post action and got the values in the post action response okay so basically with the post action response we will get the ID of the objects data which we will use in the patch method as well okay uh, so we will not start from the zero we will just continue in this example okay in this example I have added a post method to post the data to the server and then got it the response of that and with the response of that I have used it uh, to show you an example of put method in which we have just altered some data in the attributes and then we have uh, called an action for put uh, HTTP method to just update the data okay now we will use another method which is patch method so what we are going to do is let's make it a little interesting and first we will add a screen in which we will add the updated data that we got from the uh, put method okay so let's just add a display text here and let's name it put response And here we will uh, show the output of put response then go here and then show the name okay so this is the new name that we have gotten from the put action okay so now after that we will ask the user if they want to change the name again or if they want to update the name okay let's just add a checkbox here and name it update name okay now when the user checks this we will add a text box here an input text box field in which we will ask the user to add the new name that they want to update the uh, object for okay so let's just add here a um, new name right and for the visibility we will add show it only if the checkbox of updating the name is true okay so only if the user wants to update the name, we, we need this input box. Otherwise, we really don't need it. Okay, let's click on done. Um,
let's name it and click on done okay now we have uh, shown the user the new name and we have asked the user if they want to update the name again okay so we will add a decision element here to check if the user have checked on the update name checkbox okay uh, we will see if they want to update and for that we will see if the checkbox is checked to true otherwise we will not use the patch method okay so if they have clicked on the checkbox that means they want to change the name and here comes the HTTP patch method in which we will just change or update the name of that object okay so now let's take an action element and choose create HTTP callout now we will create an external service for the patch method so let's name it patch external service okay and name credential will be same this is our API let's click on next now we will click now we will add the details for the invocable action and for the method we will choose the patch method okay now it asks for the URL path so let's go here and if you click on patch you will see this is the URL path that we have this is the base URL that we have in our name credential and now we have to copy paste the path of the credential okay so we will add the path here and as you know the 7 is the ID so instead of this we will add a variable name here remember the variable name can be anything just a Make sure it is related to the data so that you don't forget what you want to put in the value of it. Okay. Now it asks the data type, which is string because the ID is of type text. Okay. Um, and we don't have any query parameters. Now it asks for the sample request and sample response. So for the request, we have this. Add it here and click on review. Done now we have to copy paste the response and this is here basically this just shows the data structure of all the attributes that we have added here with the appropriate data type okay and next um okay Let's name it path service. I think I have created a path service earlier in this example as well, just to try out the example. So that's why it's showing this error. Um, yes, this is fine now. Let's name it path action element. And now here it will ask the input value for the post ID that we have added. So, so here basically we have to add the ID that we got from the response. Now you have got the ID in the put response as well and in the post response as well. You can choose any response to take the ID because the ID is same for post and put. So you can just take it from post or put whatever you like. You will just take the ID and for the request body because in the request we have one variable one attribute. So for the body we will create an apex defined variable first which will be patch request body okay and done now we have created a patch request body but in that variable we have to put the value that is there in this input field okay so what we will do is for assigning the values we will take an assignment element quickly assign name values okay and here we will take this and name as you can see here you don't get all the attributes in the patch request body you just get the name because in the uh, action element we just have added the name in the request body parameters okay we will check name equals to our name text box and that is it okay so it looks fine what we have done is we have asked the user if they want to update the name if they click on yes if they check the checkbox yes then uh, we have created a patch request body parameter sorry variable and in that we are adding the new name value and then we are calling the HTTP callout patch method to update the value okay now how to check the values updated we will just add in a screen element here 
and in that screen element in the display text we will show the updated text updated name okay um, and here updated name and in the resource we will add batch output and name so basically this will have the updated name in here okay let's just add the screen name and it is done let's just save it and debug to check if the name is getting updated or not uh, okay one second here oh okay we didn't add any condition i think we didn't click on the done button so that's why there's an error one second let's go here here checkbox equals to true and click on done yes i think it's fine now let's click on done and save it Okay, now let's go to debug and check if it is working fine. Run. Okay, so this is the updated name that uh, we got from the response of put method. Uh, let me just show you here. So in the put method, I have changed the name to Apple iPhone. So we are getting it here now if we want to update the name again like just the name using the patch method what we will do is we will just check it once you check it you will get the new text box here uh, let's name it something else let's name it my iphone okay and click on next if we are clicking on next that means our uh, name should be updated and it will uh, be visible in the new screen let's click on next And here's the next screen that we have added and in this you can see the updated name is my iPhone. So that means the patch method is working absolutely fine. On the right side we will see the debug details and in here after the decision uh, in the assignment the patch body is set to my iPhone and then the patch invocable action occurs and in the output we can see that the name is my iPhone now okay so that is how you can just update partially an object using the patch method if you want to update all of the fields of the uh, object then you can use put method as I have used here in this you can see I have updated all the values and the values I wanted to kept same that I have kept same but if you want to update only one attribute or only two attributes that means you are going to use the patch method instead of put method okay that is it that was today's example that is how you can use patch method to partially update an object instead of using put method and use all the parameters in the response and request and update all the parameters as well okay so if you want to update partially an object then use the patch method that is it for today that was today's example i hope you found this useful i will see you super soon in the next video till then bye bye take care and keep learning